I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. It's being described as the biggest private sector infrastructure project that this country has ever seen. It's worth $40 billion. It's a liquefied natural gas plan for Kitimat, B.C. The backer is Royal Dutch Shell, along with Petronas of Malaysia and PetroChina. They want to get Canadian natural gas to markets in the Asia-Pacific region at a much shorter time frame than currently available. TransCanada Corporation is also going to build a $6 billion project to get, or pipeline rather, to get the uh, natural gas from the B.C.-Alberta border to the Kitimat location. And uh, this should all be built within the next few years going forward. The shovel's getting in the ground in near order. It's been in the works for seven years in the planning stages. It might also alleviate some of the investment chill that this country has seen when it comes to the fact that uh, the Trans Mountain Pipeline was halted, bought out by the federal government, and uh, some concern that uh, energy projects were reaching a standstill. Meantime, the price for oil on international markets today, the U.S. quote hit $75 per barrel. Canadian producers still getting around $36 for Western Canadian oil production. Records today on Wall Street. The Dow Jones Industrial Average hit an all-time high. It's picked up another 100 points plus. Second triple-digit gain in a row. Some of that still the follow-through effects of the trade deal announced between the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. Also, we saw Apple close to a record. Piper Jaffray raising its profit margin targets on the new iPhones. And Boeing got another big order from United Airlines, an expanded order for 787 Dreamliner planes worth upwards of $2.5 billion. Meantime, a discount airline out of Denmark has filed for bankruptcy, and this has implications for the Canadian market. Primera Air shut down operations late Monday, has left thousands of passengers stranded in points around the globe. There had been talk about Primera expanding its service to Pearson International, but had been pulling back on that idea. It still had a couple of uh, routes daily, but uh, nevertheless, this is an issue for Primera and its customers who are still trying to figure out ways to get home from points overseas. Amazon.com with an interesting announcement this morning. It is raising its minimum wage for American workers to $15 an hour. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos saying that he has heard the criticism from Bernie Sanders, the Vermont senator and former U.S. presidential candidate who has criticized Amazon for making all sorts of money but still paying its employees, some of them much uh, less than $15 in and around the national average of around 11 and a quarter per hour. This could affect 250,000 employees uh, at the minimum wage level for Amazon and another 100,000 seasonal workers that they're hiring for the holidays. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Eppel for City News.